And then I always, I always like to end these on kind of a, a, a pretty freeform question, which if you're a grad student getting into 3D bioprinting, what mm -hmm. would be your top couple of recommendations? Don't have to put a number on it, but what, are, what would be the things that would most greatly accelerate or greatly guarantee long-term success with a 3D bioprinting project? Yeah, I think uh, like any research uh, or research approach, I would just encourage uh, really awareness of all the 3D printing techniques out there. So, for example, if you're if you're thinking about if you're interested in the extrusion based technique, I would still encourage uh, a grad student, a new a newly grad student that's new to bioprinting, to learn about light based techniques, uh, to learn about metal based metal 3D printing, because I think there's a lot of parallels there that can be learned and a lot of uh, information that that really helps you during your research. So uh, being aware of these different techniques is really important. And then also the second piece of that is also I would say start with practicing with uh, 3D printing in general. So the easiest way right now is that 3D printing is so accessible in this uh, layer by layer extrusion based process, right? So printing plastics uh, is you can buy a $500 thermal plastic printer. Uh, and that prints really well, that you can print really anything with. And so there's a lot of concepts there that can be learned. There's a lot of concepts in terms of machine movements. How do you control a printer? How do you create a CAD file? How do you set up that CAD file to then be a uh, path so that you can print that CAD file? And then what sort of considerations do you need to take for, for the material side, for the machine side, and for the printing side? And I think all that knowledge translates very well into into bioprinting, which is really just an extension of, of those techniques, except now you're printing with your own materials. So uh, I, I think those two major aspects would be what I recommend a new grad student uh, to, to pay attention to and to really think about doing.